what's going on guys, Alex Fernandez here, coming to you with four back exercises that you need to be doing. As always, jumping right into it, the first back exercise is the lat pull down. So in this variation of the lat pull down, it's gonna be a neutral grip. I'm not sure exactly what the bar is called, but you wanna find a bar that looks, if not identical, then similar to this. And try to find one that replicates this, the same kind of like hand positioning with the like the turn of the wrist. Um, but what you wanna focus on here is make sure you're getting the full range of motion, bring it all the way down, touch your chest, and then all the way back up. It's tough for me on this machine because I'm a little taller, so I couldn't completely extend my arms as much as I wanted to. You don't wanna think about like pulling your chin over your hands. You wanna instead bring your upper chest to the bar. This way you're not straining your neck trying to get that one extra rep. Also, you wanna have your back nice and flat, um, maybe like a slight arch so that you can really target the lats as much as possible. And in this exercise, we're doing roughly 10 to 12 reps. Nothing crazy heavy, but enough to where the, the last rep is a struggle. So for the second exercise, we did the seated cable row. So for this, we did an underhand grip or a supinated grip with a short bar. Now we had to get a little creative with this exercise because we don't have one of those long pads or one of those really intricate, uh, I, don't even know what the, I don't even know what the big machine is called, but we took the little seat that most gyms have. If you don't, just use one of the big roll around benches. Ideally, you wanna do this with 10 to 12 reps with the last rep being the hardest, but because this gym doesn't have weight that's heavy enough, we had to go up to 18 to 20. Um, but regardless, like whether you have enough weight or whatever, you wanna go till you feel the burn like crazy. and. A big thing here is to keep your hips into the crease of the pad or like where it bends and your upper back on the pad also so that you can eliminate any swinging. You'll really focus on the upper back rowing motion. Another thing that you want to focus on is pulling through your elbows rather than kind of through your shoulders and like you don't want to put the weight into your traps if that makes sense. Instead you want to keep it low in the lats like feel it in the lower lats the most and you'll get the most out of this exercise doing that. A good way to manipulate it is to kind of bring your chest up as you row it in. So as, as the bar comes to your sternum, uh, you're gonna wanna pull your chest up and kind of arch your back a little bit while keeping two points of contact on the pads. Third exercise we did was a single arm rope pull down. This is a relatively new exercise that I've been doing. Uh, I really like it because it's just different. Like it's it's just a different movement and a different feeling. Um, a thing that you can see here in this video is that I have my free hand touching my lat and that's so that I can feel the contraction, feel that the muscle is working. Because you don't want to have all the weight and all the feeling in your upper lat. You want to have it throughout the muscle as a whole. So a good way to do that to make sure that the lower lat is firing is to rest your hand on it and know that it's contracting and know that it's doing the job. And this will be similar to a regular lat pull down where you have maybe a slight arch in your back, just keeping it flat. Uh, make sure that you keep your shoulders square, like there's a natural tendency to kind of twist your body when you're, the weight is too heavy. Um, if that starts happening, either lessen the weight or lessen the reps that you're doing. Um, you want to hit like max 12 reps, uh, but yeah, you want to keep your shoulders square, everything aligned so that you don't kink anything in your back. So the fourth and final exercise is what I normally like to end with. It's pull-ups to failure. Um, if you can't do them, then try, try to find an assisted pull-up machine. I wouldn't do more than 15 reps. If it's too light to where you feel like you can get more, then lessen the weight so that it's more of your body. You want to ramp it up to failure. Don't focus so much on the number, just more so that you're completely gassed out, nothing in the tank. If you can only get three, get three. If you can get five, get five. If you can get 15, get 15, but bump up the weight, maybe strap something to your waist. If you're doing it with just your body weight or if you're doing it with a machine, then lessen the lessen the weight that's aiding you and then you know rep it out for 10 to 12. I could only get like six or seven by the last set. So again, don't be worried about the reps, just more so that you're getting to failure. All right guys, so that was four back exercises that you need to be doing. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. I hope that they help you a lot. And also if you shop on Amazon, uh, I have an affiliate link. What this will do is it'll give me a certain percentage of what you would pay anyway. If you're looking for weightlifting shoes, weightlifting belt, anything like that, um, it'll really help support the channel if you shop through my affiliate link. And yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video once again, and I'll see you in the next one.